Interactions between trophic levels have a cascading impact on communities within the entire ecosystem. For example, if there are more top-level carnivores, such as cranes, it will decrease the herbivore population, which will influence the plant community, which will then affect the top-level carnivores. This indirect impact of the algae by the cranes is called a trophic cascade because changes in the higher trophic levels are causing increase in population in the lower trophic levels, we call it a top-down effect. In top-down effect, there is alternating change between trophic levels. So, increasing one trophic level, the cranes, will change the next trophic level, the fish, and will continue alternating until it reaches the lowest trophic level, the algae. Indirect effects can also occur up a food chain. If the primary producers decrease, herbivores will decrease because there is less food, which will then leave less food for the carnivores. Instead of the alternating increase, decrease, we saw in the top-down effect, you have an increase or decrease in each trophic level as you go up the food chain. So, a decrease in a population in a lower level causes a decrease in lower trophic levels. Or, an increase in a population in a lower trophic level causes an increase in the higher trophic levels. This is an example of a bottom-up effect. Understanding how one species population responds to increases and decreases in other populations shows us how interdependent each species is on one another. The health of an entire ecosystem depends on the complex interactions between all species. If you remove one species, it not only decreases the ecological efficiency of an ecosystem, but all other populations within that ecosystem since different species are interlinked through their food habits, our conservation measures for protecting endangered species of plants and animals depends on understanding these complex interactions among different populations in an ecosystem.